at our sales meetings, we get a chance to recognize our field managers uh, for their accomplishments throughout the year. Unfortunately, a lot of the people here in the office are not with us when we get to do that every year. So real quickly, we just want to have all the field managers that are here, please stand up. Let's just recognize all of you before we go into some individual accomplishments. <laughs> Thank you for the hard work you do, and thank you for your support here in the office. We want to talk about a couple of standout achievements over the past, uh, over 2018. The first is out of area protection. This has been a big focus for us as a company. So we're going to look at the top three people uh, whose regions had a certain OAP percentage. So in third, 43% of this person's policies had an OAP attached to them. And when your name is called, please stand. Miss Emily Oldham. <laughs> Great job, Emily. Crossing the 56% mark, this is incredibly high. Over half of the policies in this person's entire region have an OAP tied to them. Go ahead and stand up, Mr. Kevin Bittnoff. <laughs> Okay, and edging Kevin out by 0.2% over the course of an entire year. And when, <laughs> when your name is called, we want the first place person to please come on up. And you're just going to give a quick <laughs> little shout out. John Mon, come on up. John, just give a shout out to somebody who's helped you. I guess in regards to this, I have to shout out to Kate. Is Kate batting around? Is she here today? Oh, that's too bad. Anyways, I probably blow her up all the time on OAP all over the country, but especially in Arizona. She's been super helpful uh, to the team in Arizona and the folks that we work with, so we'll, uh, we'll pass it on to her. She does a phenomenal job for us, and uh, I appreciate all that she does, so that's it. Thank you, John. All right, we're going to move on to local leads. So active local lead ratio. This rules out, this takes out all the walk-in call-ins, this takes out the visa pre-needs, so this gets it narrowed down to what's happening actively with the local leads. So starting off with 19.3%, we have Kevin Bittenhoff. <laughs> hey, Kev. 19.8%, <laughs> Kevin Robinson. All right, and coming in number one with 23.3%, Mr. Steve Brown. Come on up, Mr. Steve Brown. Come on up, Steve. A uh, quick shout out. Um, wow, don't know where to start. I've never been in a place where I've seen more support anywhere, and the number of people who are just amazing at what they do. So a shout out to everybody in this room, and thank you for what you do. I haven't seen this person yet, but I, I owe this person uh, a shout out because I am so not technologically advanced. So the IT department is saving me all the time. I call this person and go, my screen's blank. <laughs> Steve, did you turn on your computer? <laughs> Gotta go. So Eric, wherever Eric Hornibrook is, my phone, my computer, everything, my alarm clock, couldn't, <laughs> couldn't do it without you, thanks. Nice job, Steve. All right, moving on to direct mail efficiency. This has been a very big focus for us in the field this, uh, the last six months of the year. So quick explanation of direct mail efficiency. This is of total appointments set, how many end up funding? So it takes into account uh, cancellations and appointments that don't hold, as well as the close rate out in the field. So in third for the entire year at 24.4%, meaning 24.4% of all direct mail appointments that were set closed in this person region, Kelly Brennan. Kelly. Uh, Kelly's in the back over there. There he is, hiding in the dark. Nice job, Kelly. Okay, and second for the entire year, 26.2%, we've got Dbev. Where's he at? Dennis Beverlin. 
Nice job, Dennis. And the top closing region uh, in the country for 2018 at 29.5%. That's the equivalent of roughly a 40% plus close rate once you get in front of that family for an entire region for an entire year. Pretty darn fantastic. Please stand up and come to the stage, yeah. Dylan Morrison. No deal. No, not yet, not yet. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to account management and specifically Sam Gulpin. I don't know. Where are you, Sam? <laughs> Sam. He is, he is so, so talented and so hardworking, and I am super grateful for our friendship and everything that you do for us out in the field. Thank you. All right, so everybody's aware of same store sales. We all watch it all year long. We track it. We're fighting for it. And most everybody in the field will understand these percentages, and hopefully the rest of you do as well. If you don't, uh, be sure and ask someone. <laughs> How'd you like that? Wiggle out of that one, right? All right, so coming in at 105.7%, we have Kelly Brennan. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly was one of the lucky ones that woke up to 10 inches of snow this morning over on the sunny side over there of Oregon and drove all the way over the pass and everything to get here today and I think it extended his trip a couple hours. So good job. Glad you made it safe. Okay, at 109.4% we have Mr. Spencer Roylance. Good job, Spence. And our number one at 114.1%, Mr. Trent Lloyd. Come on up, Trent. Oh, there he is. Uh, yeah, so really quick, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to the, to the Force Lawn team, Jason, Chris, Emily, and Vaughn. They've been amazing. And I'd also specifically like to call out Bridget Tammy, as well as Michael Dinwiddie. Um, they've been the account management team for us down there. And, we are very, very high maintenance and ask a lot of them. <laughs> and they have risen to every single challenge um, with a smile and it's been great to work with them, so thank you. Thank you, field managers.